Hi folks, my name is Mitch, and I thought I'd try something different for my channel. I'm going to try to uh, post up a couple of different gardening videos, and I want to document uh, the progress on how well I do, um, if I succeed, fail, and so on and so forth. I've been in gardening for a little under a year now, and I've had many, many failures, a little bit of a success, and I learned quite a bit from just basically trial and error. Now there's plenty of videos out there and to show you how to garden and what you need to do and so on and so forth. But I figured that with my own personal experience for not having any real knowledge in this field, maybe I can share some of my um, experience with you and you can pick that up. And if you ever tried gardening on your own, then you can learn from what I've done so you can minimize your mistakes. So today I'm going to be talking about green onions, uh, scallions, depending on what you want to call them. These are ones that were purchased from the supermarket. I got them about a week ago and they do really, really well. They um, thrive. They really, really want to survive. So it takes a lot to uh, really uh, kill them. So what you can do is uh, once you use whatever you need, don't cut them all the way down to the root. Um, you can just cut them to wherever you want to. And then after that, stick them in some water. As you see here, that little line right here, that's where I cut it last time. And I stuck it in some water. Overnight, it starts um, already sprouting up. So it doesn't take too long at all. Uh, this has been in the water for about a week. I change out the water every few days or so. Uh, so nothing like really grows in there. Today I put this one inside of a coffee cup container. Uh, I drink a lot of Starbucks and hopefully this one will grow uh, a bulb. Uh, that's what I'm aiming for in the future. Um, I told my dad maybe a couple months ago about growing green onions because he loves green onions and he stuck them in the ground and they are thriving uh, really really well. So that just goes to show you, especially um, if you just take very little effort, you, you can get a lot out of it. Uh, so it's very easy to do. Stick them in a cup of water. They'll start growing. Stick them in some dirt. Uh, dirt is very cheap to buy at Home Depot. You can even plant them in your own uh, backyard or garden or whatever you might have there. Uh, if you don't, then yeah, just buy the potting soil from... Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. Uh, potting soil works well if you're putting it in a pot for obvious reasons. Um, if you're going to be putting them in the outside in the backyard, then you might not need anything at all actually, uh, as long as the dirt is loose enough. So you don't need to overwater it, you don't need to underwater it. It's very easy to determine how, to, how much water you should be using uh, once a week. Once a week is more than enough. Uh, what you can do is for the example this cup here I have it in another cup and what I did was I cut some holes drainage holes on the bottom of this cup and there's six drainage holes so water can come out really 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 easily it doesn't sit in there uh, because you don't want to rot the roots once the roots are rotted then that's pretty much game over for your plant and it's not going to survive at all so leave it there for about a week just kind of figure it out like today for example it's Sunday I watered it here next week I'm gonna check on it again see if it needs to be watered. you can stick your finger right into the dirt if it's moist or anything like that you don't need to water it maybe for a few more days if not then you know give it a good wash um, pour that on the water don't make make sure it's not like anything too strong because then you're gonna blow out the dirt and just let the water just run all the way through once you see it start dripping down here into the drainage area then stop watering. That's it. That's as much water as you need. And this thing will produce green onions for you as long as it's alive. Uh, and you can use that for your cooking. It's very easy to do. So there's a couple of plants that I've been doing. I will show that next time. Until then, if you have any